And we are back. RawStatus.com, Raw Status TV YouTube, the Raw Status Instagram, the Raw Status Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. Raw Status TV YouTube. I have some thoughts on Dwayne Wade and the stake in ownership that he has taken with the Utah Jazz. Now, this is something that is becoming popular. You have people like Grant Hill, who has a stake in ownership with the Atlanta Hawks. Shaquille O'Neal, the guy who thinks Breonna Taylor should have been shot, has part ownership in the Sacramento Kings. So this is good. This is a money getting opportunity for these players. But I want to comment on some comments that Dwayne Wade made when he said this is good for people that look like me. Talking about the optics, talking about motivation for those young African-American kids that may be suffering from low self-esteem due to the racism in this country and need to see the visual of a black man owning something big. I like that and I agree with that. But I'm going to say this, D. Wade and the rest of the players out there, that is not the end all be all. If you haven't noticed, we are currently engaged in racial attacks and a racial war being waged against black people in America. It's being fought primarily through the police departments in this country with false arrests and unnecessary uses of deadly force. How can this be stopped is my question. This can be stopped through legislation. How can we begin to introduce legislation, new laws to protect African-Americans specifically, not people of color, not Latinos, not Asians, but African-Americans? First of all, what player has the heart to actually say what I just said? And what players act out there actually have the knowledge and understanding? Maybe they do, but they don't want to act on it because they don't want to mess their money up. I understand business. But I ask. Should these players be doing more to put pressure on their state, local and federal politicians to pass laws to protect African-Americans from this onslaught by the police forces in America? How about you get 25 to life mandatory for assaulting, excuse me, for shooting a handcuffed suspect or for kneeling on a handcuffed suspect's neck? If you cause somebody's somebody's death, if you cause it while they are in handcuffs, you deserve to go to prison. If you shoot someone in the back when they are running or shoot them when they are driving off and they are unarmed, that should be outlawed. That should be illegal. Police officers should have the same standard of deadly force that citizens do. And I believe that someone like Dwayne Wade in a position to speak out on that should make that happen. Now, it's interesting that the Utah Jazz hired him as their face. They do this a lot, kind of like how Papa John's Pizza, how their CEO was exposed for being racist and they decided to go out to go out and hire Shaquille I think Breonna Taylor should have been shot. O'Neal, the big step and fetch it that he is. And that dumbass smile on his commercials. So they use this to quell and to take the attention off of themselves for being white supremacists. Now, the Utah Jazz have had problems. You remember Russell Westbrook out there arguing with the fans. These white supremacist fans get very belligerent and very aggressive when in the stands. I believe they've had some bad press and... They need Dwayne Wade, a black man, as the face of their franchise. I think he's going to be playing the Magic Johnson role, public relations, public liaison, or excuse me, liaison to free agents. And again, I think it's good. Um, but I think more should be done with these positions to advance the black agenda in this country. You know what I never hear athletes speaking about? Reparations. You see, they're not concerned about it because they're already rich. But this is the problem. As black people, we should be thinking about the whole and advancing as a whole, not as individuals. I'm not saying don't get your money individually. I'm not saying don't look out for number one. Hell yes, you better. But do not forget what happens to a poor black kid on the corner eventually can happen to you. 
if they're shooting unarmed black kids for driving away for weed warrants, if they pull over an NBA star, you best believe if you find a white supremacist on that force, he's going to be looking for a reason to shoot anybody, no matter their income level. As a matter of fact, your income level will probably make him more angry. The nice car you're driving. Like that army veteran in Virginia that got pulled over. So, yes, I would like to see more of this. I'm not saying this will happen. Because, again, listen, a lot of these athletes are straight up and down sold out. They act like they're going to lose their money if they start speaking on white supremacy and using the word white supremacy and using the word black agenda and talking reparations and talking stiff, harsh punishments for race soldiers. That is police officers that pretend to be officers of the law, officers of the law when they are really nothing but white supremacists. Comments in the box. What do you think? This is Raw Status TV.